Hey, it's a nice day for a piece of wood to the face. This fella takes a tumble off his horse. He's like, I'm good. Yeah, now nah, I'm good. A couple of his mates run over. They're saying, we're pretty sure you're not good. It looks like you've been transported to the dark ages of Destination Fucked. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Let's commandeer this ship. Together we can conquer the ocean. I have a treasure map. I left it up near my beer. Just, just let me grab the map and then we set sail. Are you guys with me? You want to lend me a hand? Come on, everyone, let's go. Hands off cocks, on with socks. The treasure shall be ours. Yep, nah, okay, no one. Destination fucked. It is then. Here is a classic slow-mo journey towards destination fucked. I don't know why anyone would want to book a trip to a thorn bush. And there it is. He is stuck. This is going to be one of those long, never-ending holidays. Oh yeah, here's a quick trip. Yep, nah, yeah, that is a very fuel-efficient journey. Here's a bumpy ride to destination fucked with a dodgy landing. His seat was definitely not in the upright position. I feel like he might regret buying a cheap ticket on sale, but he got there. To be fair, he got there in one piece at the end of the day. This Sheila is like, here's a game we used to play when we were kids. Follow me. No one follows her. The modern kids are too smart for this game. Some say that when you enter heaven, you go through the pearly gates. Well, when you enter destination, fucked, you go through these shithouse gates. Oh, a rickety ladder and a few skinny children holding it. Well, an overweight man tries to go for glory. This may as well be the dictionary definition of destination fucked. Three, two, one. There it is. He's eating concrete for lunch and he's washing it down with a refreshing glass of pool water. Oh, here's a big launch and say goodbye to your teeth. The tooth fairy of destination fucked will be claiming those and she's not going to leave you any money. She's a fucking tight ass. Here's a bit of rugby action. Unfortunately, there is an innocent nutsack being sent to destination fucked right there. That's not good. The scrotum never did anything to that cranium. It doesn't deserve this kind of treatment. Hey Yarn, you big bloody beautiful fucking bastards, here's me face. Today's video is proudly sponsored by NordVPN, which stands for Nordic Virtual Private Network. If you're not using a VPN when browsing the web, then I do recommend this company. The link is in the post description below, nordvpn.com slash aussieman, and use the code aussieman to get 77% off on a three year subscription. I feel like we all know what a VPN is in this day and age. Basically, if you're not using one, then it's like going bareback on a one night stand. It's a bit, it's a bit risky is, is what I'm fucking saying. I mainly use it when traveling. Like I had a layover in Guangzhou in China recently and I couldn't use me fucking Facebook. I couldn't contact me family and I was like, well, I don't have a Weibo account. I just bunged on me bloody NordVPN and then I could get into Messenger and I could tell the missus that I was having some satay chicken or whatever you want to use it for. But it's good when traveling. You just log in, you can put it on your desktop or on your phone. There's a whole map. There's thousands of servers to choose from. There's no data logging, which is a big one. And there's military grade encryption. So if I can give it a go, nordvpn.com slash Aussieman. Link is in the post description below. Use the code Aussieman for a big fuck off discount.